I am feeling pretty bum today. Like, like really, 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 really bum. And I've been contemplating all day since I, since I've been here at the pilot, been contemplating all day to, you know, make this uh, commentary. <clears throat> I was saying to myself, like, yo, go ahead and make it lock out, go ahead and knock it out, you know, get the, get it off your chest. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to, about to get it off my chest. So stay tuned. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Lockout Men back again with another commentary for you this evening. What is going on with you? If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. And uh, always, always hit that like button. Let YouTube know that you messing with your boy. I just don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I'm 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 feeling kind of bummed today, and uh, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like get into too much detail why I feel this way. Just know that I feel this way. You know, things happened. Um, some things I find out. And, um, and yeah, I, I just got a gut feeling that, you know, I just got a, I, I just got a feeling in my gut. That's all. That's all. But, uh, things happened, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I just want to say for like the new drivers out there, you know, if, if, if you get, in a situation, um, just just make sure that you know. Just make sure you get. Just make sure you get an understanding. All right. Just make sure you get an under a, a, a understanding. So, uh, but yeah, I am uh, feeling pretty bummed today. But I figured that I would come on anyway to you know give you guys this commentary because I I did see this post that was made and it was in a question form actually it was it's a it's like a two-parter you know what i'm saying it's a two-parter because in my comments i had a comment and i and i threw it out in facebook as you know today's facebook question and i i'm i, I think i threw it in the community as well but you know, let's touch on that for a second. It was a it was a commenter that says that uh, you trucking companies trucking companies shouldn't hire felons with so much uh, emphasis emphasis on safety. Hmm. Now let's think about that for a second. Should and I, and I threw out the question: Should trucking companies hire people, men or women, with criminal backgrounds? Now, as you guys know, I, I talked to some of your top YouTubers. Uh, you love India; she has a criminal background, uh, and a couple of others that has criminal backgrounds. I talked to some drivers that has criminal that has criminal backgrounds but they they got into trucking and trucking change the their lives we're given the opportunity because you know when i talked to you love india about it she she wasn't um she wasn't getting you know everybody was turning her down because of her criminal background so you know, for for this guy to come on and 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 make that comment, I mean, 
you know, maybe I mean, you know, so, trucking companies is on a is on a it's it's on a I don't know. It's it's on a, a what's your name basis. I, I forgot the word that I was looking for, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So it's on a it's 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 on a basis like it depends if you had five years, if if it was done within five years, done within ten years, you know, you you'll get the opportunity. I know for a fact that some trucking companies like Western Express will give you the opportunity to come out and uh make some money. Now you're not gonna make as much money, but it's gonna at least get you off your feet. You know, a lot a lot of felons come out, they 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 turn into entrepreneurs, whatever they get, because the the normal places to get a job at is kind of hard because of your background, especially what you have done. Now if it's like if if it's like uh maybe if it's like maybe weed or something like that uh maybe if it's just weed or something like that you'll be you you'll be okay you'll be okay you know if you had a weed convention or something like that like or a drug convention you probably might be okay but if you had a convention like murder or like kidnapping or anything of that seriousness then i don't think you know trucking companies and i may be wrong i may be wrong i may be wrong let me know in the comments below i may be wrong but some companies some companies just won't mess with you at all um they i i, I don't know but some guys that was felons in the past they're they're doing real good now some of them turn some some of them turned their lives so much around now they're they're owner operators they're fleet owners and they and and they living the good life so for whatever reason that led them down that path to you know to be incarcerated for as long as they did they did they turned they paid their price they came out they went to school they got their license and now with trucking gave them the opportunity to turn their life around now here's this you know here's my commenter he says he says that yo uh, we uh, look man we 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 don't we don't need we we don't with the safety precautions that's going on right now we don't need uh we don't need the felons now there there are some cases where you know the the you know the the felons kind of like fell back but some of them 90 percent of them has became reputable uh people of uh reputable people of a society now so the question is and the, the question that i posed in facebook and i think I post the same question in my in my post. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can find it, but I'm not sure. I I, I, I posted the same question. Let me type my name in here and see if I can find it. But should um there we go. Oh wait, uh oh. See, it's not even near. Okay, I guess I can't find it. But anyway, uh, the question is, should trucking companies hire felons? Or should trucking companies hire people with criminal backgrounds? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? And if so, how severe the background should be? Let's think about that. How is is it okay to to hire to, to hire someone that has a weed convention? Is it okay to hire somebody that has uh that has a uh a murder bodies on them? 
I, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud, you know, because like I said before, some companies, now there's a few, but not a lot, but there's are some companies. And like I said, Western Express is one of them that will hire felons. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a quick series on the companies that hire felons and see uh, what's the policies of hiring them. So stay tuned for stay tuned for that uh for that series um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna fib i'm 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 not a felon so i don't proceed to know uh what's what's all that entails you know what i'm saying i never well i've been to jail but i've never been to jail you know what i'm saying like i never had (laughs) nothing on me i'm just saying but Getting in the trucking industry, I have came across a lot of a lot of gentlemen and females that has shaky backgrounds and they was able to come out, pay their debt to society and change. I mean, and have trucking change the way they are. Which is good, but it's still going to be tough. It, it is going to be tough. Um, if you are a felon, your best bet is to let the company know, don't sugarcoat it, just let them know and see if they can definitely, uh, bring you in. Um, of course, you know, felonies, what, what felonies that, that company's not going to mess with. Uh, I don't think they're going to mess with you if you have a warrant for your arrest. I, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they're going to mess with you if you're driving under uh, under the influence, DUIs. I don't think they're going to mess with you on that. Well, they say it has to be uh, a case-by-case basis. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, murder, of course. You know, the statute of limitation for murder never runs out. Uh, smuggling, bribery, arsoning, I mean, arson, treason, uh, kidnapping. I, I don't think that, I don't think trucking companies is going to mess with you on that assault, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of underlying basis when it comes to assault. So, you know, it probably might be another case by case. Um, I don't know if you're going to ever get into a truck without a license, but that's one that they're not going to mess with you with. So, is there any guarantee that you might get hired? No, no. Like I said, you know, when you put your applications out there, you're going to pull out a lot of applications and you're going to get a lot of denials. You know, you just, you know, just have to stay vigilant and just hope that one gives you the chance. And if that one does give you a chance, then don't go in there thinking you're going to make all this boo cool type of money. You're not. You're not. They're giving you a chance to make some money, to be productive in society. Now, once you get your experience, then you can level up. Um, Of course, there is trucking companies that, again, that will look at you. I'm going to say look at you. I'm not going to say hire. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be throwing false information out there on these companies that I came across on the Internet. They might say one thing, but then turn around and do another. So I'm just saying, you know, these are companies right here that you can try and see if they do. And if they and if they do, just make sure you give them the information from you. You know, the time that you went in and and the 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 convention that you had and just let them know road tests transportation out of new jersey pet shop pt airlines out of kentucky britain transport out of north dakota carolina carolina cargo i heard so so much about them um that you should give them a try out of south dakota covenant transportation out of chattanooga tennessee Frey Miller out of Oklahoma, Hirschbach Motor Lines out of Iowa, 
JNR Swoogle out of Minnesota. Maverick Transportation out of Arkansas. Millis Transfer out of Wisconsin. Navajo out of North Washington. I think that's where India got her start at. Uh, from Navajo. She she used to work at Navajo. So definitely check her out. Prime out of Missouri. Now I'm not sure what well, Prime is definitely on a case by case basis. Um Snyder National. I'm not sure about them either. Same thing with them. They on a case by case. Out of Wisconsin. Tyson Foods. Now I got I gotta call Tyson. I, I really do. I, I gotta put that on the make the call list. U.S. Express out of Chattanooga and Warren Enterprises. Now, what I did, what I don't see is Western Express. Where are you, Western Express, in this list? You should be in there. I'm just saying. Uh, companies that will hire felons five years after the release, meaning you got to wait, of course, five years. After the release, bar none transportation out of Iowa, uh, Gardaki transport out of Oklahoma, Melton truck lines out of Oklahoma, PGT trucking out of PA. That's a flatbed. By the way, Melton, P, Melton Maverick, PGT are all flatbed companies, by the way. So I just want to throw that out there rail out of wisconsin stevens transport out of texas and tango out of louisiana uh companies that were hire felons after 10 years of release so uh you you just got out of jail these are the companies that won't mess with you until after 10 years it's only a few crate out of nebraska cr england out of utah cr england 10 years CR England are you for real come on now you you should be up there within the five or the or the recent come on now 10 years CR Eng okay 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 Dick Laven trucking out of Dick Laven ain't it supposed to be LeVay actually I'm supposed to have a conversation with uh with a with a recruiter from there but as of right now, like I said, I'm I'm feeling kind of bummed. So I probably wouldn't have been a good conversationalist if she would have came on anyway. But in any case, in any case, uh Dick LeVay trucking out of Beth Bradford, Ohio. It's Bedford. Not Bradford. It's Bedford. B-E-D-O. I mean B-E-D-F-O-R-D. Bedford. Ohio. Somebody's calling. Who's calling? Y'all hear that? Hold on. Oh, I I hear that. I'm I'm trying. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I guess I gotta call him back. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I guess I'll call them back right quick. But to continue on, um, J.B. Hunt out of Arkansas and Swift Transportation out of Arizona. So there you have it, guys, uh, drivers, new drivers, drivers that's, that's, that has a background, sort of sketchy, criminal, felon. There you have it. You want to come into the trucking company. Those are the companies that would give you the opportunity. I mean, I'm saying opportunity because I'm not saying that they're going to actually hire you because you definitely got to tell them the situation of what happened. And then maybe, maybe they'll bring you on. All right. Um, before I get on up out of here, there was another thing that uh, came across and it was uh it was this right here um they said which companies will make you a job offer you i mean before you get your license trying to explore my options and talk to as many companies or recruiters as possible right now okay okay so right now 
you don't have your CDLs, but you want to know if you can get hired before your CDLs. Well, if you go to a trucking school that's connected to uh, uh, any company, like let's say real, but they have their own trucking school. Prime has they <coughs> has their own trucking school. But let's say if you go to a trucking school before they, it's a it's a trucking school that I talk to. And I, that would be on the next make the call. But it's a trucking school that I talked to that they would give you like a pre-hire. Not necessarily a hire, but they'll give you a pre-hire. Now, it's just saying that if you finish the school and get your license, we'll give you the opportunity to come in and mess with us. Now, not everybody or not every school does that. I'm not sure. You know, but if you like go to like a, a mom and pops or any or any small trucking companies, then no, they're not going to hire you before you get your CDLs. They, they're not going to do it. You got to already have your joints before you get in there. All right. So here are some companies that I came across that may give you the opportunity before your before you get your license all right but what you got to do okay what you got to do you can't take my word you got to do your research all right do your research and before you figure out anything anything finding a job Finding a trucking job with no experience is not easy, especially if you don't know how to apply. Some people end up spending hundreds of thousands of applications only to get turned down. All right. So what you got to do, you got to you got to take the time to do the research of the companies, companies that you are interested in before you apply only send your ac application in after you get the information to these companies that you are certain that you want to drive with with no experience that way you will have you will be able to save time save some of save some frustration because it's a lot and instead of focusing on being product i mean and instead just be focused on being productive and moving your career to the next level. All right. These companies that I'm about to mention, you, you definitely have to give them a call, find out a little bit more if they are able to bring you in with no CDL and find out, you know, if it's like a pre-hire after you get your CDLs. Pam Transport, uh, I'm going to have to call them. I'm going to have to call them Trans Am, Covenant, U.S. Express, Swift Transportation, KLLM, Maverick, Stevens Transport, Snyder National, and Rail Transport. All right. So for guys that don't have the experience, new drivers that's coming into the industry, those are the 10 companies that you should look at but then there there might be more so definitely do your homework do your research guys with felonies you know you just now coming out and you try you know you trying to make a change and and turn your life around the the companies that i mentioned to you before uh, you know like bar none gardaki us express jnr swoogle definitely check them out all right i hope this video reaches you and give you some type of value and what you want to look for because in 2021 there's a lot of you coming out here the pandemic is still going on and you know we was hemmed up in the house but now it's it's time to come out here because a lot of companies is looking for you all right and you got to make sure you have the mindset all right that's going to do it for this after, uh for this evening's commentary i got a phone call so i'm about to jump on that you guys take it easy if you like content like this if you like to pull up let me know in the comments below what you which how you dig in the content on the lockout man podcast channel the pull up the mtc um uh, the commentary 
and more. I got much, much more content coming. I got I got much, much more content coming, so stay tuned. Let me know in the comments below if y'all really and truly rocking with me. And if you guys want to support the channel, you know what I'm saying? If you want to support the channel, you can do that by joining the channel, all right? Hook your boy up with some coffee, man. Uh, the MTC with Cambria. Let me know what you guys think of that. You know what I'm saying? So... On that note, I'm gone. You guys take it easy, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. Thing is, he locked up. When Mike getting 16 yos knocked up. Could have made 10 G's if he shot her. But his content told him not her. Mike bleeding. Kim's